stimulating. Mind expansive. It's no sleep, baby. Welcome, everybody, to No Sleep, colon, the podcast. Boy, do I hate watching myself on that big TV. I feel like my jaw is sticking out too much like that. I thought we were dropping the colon. Did I say the colon? You did. Shit. No Sleep, not the colon, the <laughs> podcast. I'm AJ Simmons, one part of your podcasting trio. This is a, a comedy podcast, and uh, I got a joke for you here. <laughs> Mother's Day was this past weekend, and it was great to see my mom finally have a day that's all about her and all what she wants. Must be one of those all-year holidays. Oh. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Oh, yeah, wait. Here. Oh. oh. Was that, are you done? I just one for me today. Oh, okay. All right. What's your name? My name's Tom McGrain. That's right. Nice. It's good to be here. And I like looking at myself on the big TV. What's up, buddy? Hey, 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 hey good looking. Uh, I got two. <laughs> I wrote a bunch. Actually, I'm only going to do two. Uh, this happened. I went and ate at my mom's before the podcast again. And my mom uh, got a new phone. So she's rocking like an iPhone 15 or something now. And she was, my niece was helping her set it up. And my mom was real obsessed with getting all the apps closed. And my mom said, doesn't, and my niece was like, you don't have to close all the apps. And my mom said, doesn't leaving all, all your apps open suck all your juice out? And I said, suck all your juice out? I got to go open some more apps. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, actor Steve Buscemi is okay after he was punched in the face by a man on the New York City street, his publicist said Sunday. In a shocking turn of events, it actually fixed his teeth. <laughs> so the guy would have a tooth. <laughs> mm. The man in, wait, what is it? The man with one eye in the land of the blindest <laughs> yes. king. That's right. Hi, I'm Alex Carter, and I forgot I had to write a joke for this because I've been so fucking busy. But... <laughs> Don't worry, I just quickly glanced at my notes, and the only thing that I saw that I recognized was a old joke premise of mine that I'm going to try and revive. <laughs> Should we see if it works or not? Let's do it. Okay. Now, third. All right, so I, I grew up in, in Iowa. I've lived in Iowa my whole life, grew up in a small town, had a lot of access to farms and being around farm animals and what it's like to be out on a farm. And people out in the country on farms have dogs that like run around and like have puppies all the time. That's like a regular thing, you know, mm -hmm. farm dogs and whatnot. So I would see dogs have sex on the farm. And that was a very interesting thing because if you've seen, you know, everyone sees dogs humping and whatnot, but dogs actually having sex is a whole different thing because when they actually do it, the male dog's penis inflates inside of the lady dog. Yeah, so they're like, and they're basically literally stuck together for like half an hour, yeah. an hour or something. <laughs> it's like a evolutionary thing to make sure that that's the dad, I guess. Uh, right. Okay. So I see that, and then I think as a kid, I'm like, that's crazy. And, and why don't people? Why doesn't that happen to people? Right. And what if it did? So like, you you go out to the bars, you're having a good time drinking, find some chick, you guys are vibing. Like, let's go, let's go back to my place, you know, and you go back and fucking have a couple more shots. You talk, blah, blah, blah. Then take her to pound town. And then you have that post nut clarity, <laughs> but your penis is inflated inside of her <laughs> and you have to be face to face for the next like three hours. <laughs> oh boy. There'd be a lot of ladies so choking to yeah, death too. Just like, so, uh. <laughs> You watch Shogun or? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think uh, of Ad Astra? You ever see that movie? <laughs> I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> she call it Dad Astra. <laughs> dad Astra. Well, I mean, because he goes to find his dad in space. Oh, I thought you meant like Dad Ass. No, no. <laughs> I was with AJ on that Yeah, one. no, no. Mm -hmm. It's about his dad. Uh, him finding his dad. Have you not seen it? I have not. I saw it on your 
a uh, little oh on my s- coffee my your folding whatever stand. you want to call it yeah. it's like a TV media stand the, yeah. media holding <laughs> yeah <laughs> middle of the room TV tray yeah. <laughs> yeah multi-purpose tool yes yeah multi-purpose TV stand. I like it I like Ad Astra it has log glue all over it if I remember yeah, correctly it's got log it's got wood glue yeah gorilla glue <laughs> on it the table does. It's got everything on it. Honestly. You better believe it. I'm trying to think if I've ever if I've ever actually watched two dogs have sex. <laughs> I have. I remember wondering why there were two dogs stuck ass to ass in my yard right. for like an hour when I was in uh, <laughs> grade school. And I'd be like, why are they? Well, because they were in love, you yeah. see. And then when two dogs are in love. One dog's penis. Inflates. Well, that means he must have tried to get off. But his, it was still, you know, stuck inside. Oh, he got off all right. That's right. <laughs> cat penises can rip out lady cat's genitals because they're barbed. Wow. I'm so regretful of the joke I attempted to tell. <laughs> <laughs> to even call that a joke is <laughs> it's pretty loose at best. Uh, I thought it was all right. It, that, uh, yeah, but I, yeah, if that did happen to people, there'd be a lot of... It's a funny scenario. So it'd be, it'd be a better jobs. sketch, you know? Yeah. A better visual You'd probably be more sketch. choosy about who you'd you have to explain, with. but you'd have to, like, how would you right. get to there where you're like, my penis inflates and stays inside of someone, you know? It'd be a lot, a lot of, ex- a a lot lot of exposition. It's a lot yeah. to work out on yeah. this whole idea. If it was werewolves, maybe. Yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Yeah. Uh, All right. My dick inflated like a bouncy castle inside of this one. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh, I started a new diet plan. It isn't working out very well. Diet plan? Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Um, What's this well thought out plan you've come it's up with? eat as much as possible until I'm too uncomfortable to eat anymore. <laughs> well, that's not, a, I mean, I love that plan personally. And it ain't going great. Yeah, that's, that's the sumo wrestling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Eat till you hurt yourself. Yep. Yeah. So like two hours later, you're still like, uh, why did I do that? <laughs> but, but maybe one more bite. Maybe <laughs> just one more deviled egg, please. Oh God. <laughs> Is that what you had tonight? I had uh, egg salad oh, and, uh, and uh, spring salad and a hamburger. Hamburger. Hit it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hamburger. Thank you. What a stinky fart you have brewing. You got a shark cooking. That's probably, I gotta, I'm <laughs> being more careful about those yeah. since last weekend. Shark week is here. Shark week. <laughs> yep. Discovery Channel presents. <laughs> I would watch that. You'd be starring in it yeah. watching it. What are you talking uh, about? You're the star, my man. Oh, man. Bunch of beer delivery guys <laughs> on trucker speed and <laughs> gas station nachos shit in their pants. <laughs> It's like ice road chuck, uh, truckers, but way more shit. As a man who uh, travels all over this great state, is there a, I guess, is there something that is impre- like a, a little town that's impressed you or anything like that? Uh, an an uh, unfortold jewel of mm, Iowa that you've seen? Yes, with oh, Tolls man. Travels. <laughs> yeah. It's a new yeah. segment. Tolls Travels. To, uh, so <laughs> a little many. fiddle in the background. <laughs> Small towns. I like doing, I like uh, every Tuesday I get to do about 30 miles along the Mississippi River, and that's pretty cool. Watching the, that and seeing like the tugboats and the barges and shit. Every once in a while, a cruise ship. And seeing a cruise, a cruise ship, ship, seeing a cruise ship on the river in the middle of Iowa. By what city? Davenport. Oh. It's fucking insane. Oh. And they make a stop there too. And I'm like, hey, well, welcome what? to Davenport. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time. Yeah. It's a little different than the Alaska Viking yes. cruise. Yeah. Move over yeah. Portugal. Yeah. Move over España. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to Davenport. Uh, speaking of Davenport, <laughs> delivering beer there. Last week, I was going to tell you guys this story. Um, I was at a place to clean their lines, and I was getting out of my van, and there are parking spaces everywhere. So I get out of my van, and I'm leaning. I'm kind of just leaning out of it, looking at my phone, doot, 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 <laughs> looking, looking, and then somebody honks. Oh boy! And I was like, "What the?" F-? I was like, "They couldn't possibly." And I look, and it's a 
people honking at me to move <laughs> from looking at my phone when there's fucking a hundred parking spots everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck? fuck? I was ready to go off on these people. <laughs> and then I start walking towards their car and it's a Cadillac and it was an elderly black couple. And I was like, I will not be doing that. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I will. I'm going to skip. I that. deserved it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, See you know later. What? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. So, yeah. yeah. Well, good on you. <laughs> so, yeah. It was kind of strange. It made me so mad. <laughs> like, I can't. Oh, I'm and I sure looked, it did. And I did. I was like, did one of these. Like, what the hell, dude? There's spots everywhere. And you got to honk at me in this spot? <laughs> yeah. The balls. The balls. <laughs> the huge ball. black balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah. Then I was like, well, all right. Well, we've talked about it on the old podcast before, <laughs> but this goes to my brilliant invention that will maybe happen someday. I won't do it. Yeah. The 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 multi horns. Yes. So you, so you have a the angry. That's right. The multi horn. That's yeah. from the early days yes. of the podcast. Yeah. There's a polite horn, that's which maybe right. plays like a Jimmy Buffett song or something like bum, that. Bum, 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 just to let them know. Yeah. Like, hey, get it moving. And then there's yeah. like the hey, fuck you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Horn. Right. <laughs> You could just do that. You could just have a recording that one's like, excuse me. <laughs> and then the other one's like, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Tesla's, I'm sure, could do that now. Then they have like different horn sounds you can uh, like ring swap tones. in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some car that has. Soldier Boy You tell. can like uh, program the light patterns of your like blinkers or some sure. shit. Like, all right. Hmm. Seems pointless. But. I'm getting sick of even just the bright blue headlights. Dude, we tried driving a Fiat. <laughs> Everyone I'm in front of, no, I'm, thank like, you. I'm fucking blind. No, thank you. I can't fucking see anything. <laughs> yeah, driving a Fiat is like putting your stomach on a skateboard and going down the street. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes uh, with worse gas there. mileage. Yeah. <laughs> like a luge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those lights but, are yeah. right in your face. <laughs> yeah, I do not. Uh, I do not appreciate those. Even though I'm pretty sure my Fiat has those bright blue headlights, and a lot of people aren't aware. And it's funny being in front of someone and so mad at them for having these bright ass lights. You're like, they don't fucking know that. <laughs> no, they know. know. They probably do. have you, you been in a tell. car that has those, and they flip them on. Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> am I driving on the surface of the moon right now? <laughs> yeah. Like everything's illuminated <laughs> everywhere. Dave's car it's definitely shocking. has these, by the yeah, way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I've been in Dave's car. Yeah, it's all very cool, blue, white. I went to, across. Uh, when I was helping a friend of mine move many, many years ago, my sister's coworker let me borrow his super old pickup truck. So I had this old, huge pickup truck. And I was driving, everybody's honk. I was like, what the hell, man? Why is everyone all pissed off at me? <laughs> because the brights were on. And then I was like, I don't. I was like trying to let people know that I couldn't. I had no way of shutting them off. They were just Sorry. they were just stuck on. Uh, I was like, I don't know how to Blinding turn them off. Everybody. Yes. The truck ones are extra yes. strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because trucks have to be cooler. They do. Mm. Bigger. Yeah, trucks are. I saw a picture of an old truck next to a new truck, the same type of truck. And they're so much bigger now than they used to be. <laughs> it's crazy. It's wild. It's like, I, I own a, a, a Ford Maverick, which is a little baby truck. Yes. And it looks like that's how pickup trucks used to be. It was yes. about that size. Some a little bigger. Now they need to be But now, like, the F-150 is, like, 50% bigger. than it, and, then it, that, and that's the small truck. And then it goes up to, like, these... $95,000 trucks yes. that are like the size of a two-story building and yeah. they cost their, their car payments are like $4,700 a month. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. What are you doing with this fucking thing? And have you ever nothing? Been, we drive it to the Texas roadhouse every <laughs> Friday. Exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. God damn. And when you get in one of those, it's like you're looking up. It's like the, mm. the hood of the truck is so huge. Yeah. You have to like, like, like jump Jesus. up into it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's, yeah, yeah, that never used to be a thing. Like trucks were just like a like a, an actual utility vehicle right. that yeah. you know someone then had to throw shit in the back, got a pickup truck, and it was about the same size as a car. But they are, I they're saw like fucking giant luxury vehicles yeah. now. The new Toyota Land yacht. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I saw that the new Toyota pickup is like sixty eight thousand dollars. Yeah, 
I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and I see, I'm like, I need to get a new car because I got a baby coming. And I'm like, oh, shit. A 1988 Oldsmobile only cost $11,000. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Yeah. yeah. Even my shit box, which I'm still paying for, yeah. cost me... Close, I think it was nine thousand yeah. dollars, and it had almost two hundred thousand miles on. Right, it's crazy. I remember back in the day, you could buy a thousand dollar car that would yeah. work and just run the fuck out of it for yeah. five, anywhere from two to seventeen years. Never yeah. change the oil. Right, just let that not baby go. Once. Till it, not, not once, once. <laughs> till it shits on. the I don't street. think the thousand dollar car exists anymore. Yeah. No. The, the Lumina was that. I bought the Lumina yeah. I think for eight hundred dollars off Craigslist, if I yeah. remember correctly. Oh, that's from some kid in Ankeny. That thing's got balls of steel. <laughs> yeah, he got right. it off Craigslist. It survived for $800. a flood. It did. It, it went like. Got flooded up to its rear view mirrors. I saw that thing <laughs> cough out. I was like, there's no way this thing's starting. And then it went bleh, and it barfed out a bunch of water yeah. out the exhaust and Wait, started right thing? up. Looked like Toll's asshole the other day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sharded out some water and it started right up. Uh, that would have been uh, maybe like a 92. Yeah, I thought something. it was a 90. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Like it had the. Yeah, that's that's why it was so tough. Like, bitch, seat. I'm from the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. I it had the shifter up, up here on the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had one of the, I had a 93 Buick LeSabre. It was fuck. It was like it's a, basically a the same car couch too. on wheels. Yeah. yeah just <laughs> slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> slightly different bodies. Shag and wag. <laughs> yeah. Couch on wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I miss those old, uh, the big, like, uh, what bench was seat. Bench seat. Oh, yep. Just upholstered like the finest couch you've ever been yeah, on. Yeah. It looks like that. One big long. <laughs> Fake a, velvet. A, a, a giant ashtray right in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Another ashtray over here. For the kid. One more ashtray over mm -hmm. here. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. Surprised you have a recliner while you drive, you know, driving, right. smoking. <laughs> I was like, you go over a little bump in a car, especially the bigger they got. If you went over like a little bump, you go, whoa. <laughs> yeah. You got like 50 extra feet of bouncing slowly. Yeah. Like, oh, this is luxury, baby. Well, and in my opinion, other than a lot of them being rear wheel drive, but if they weren't real, if they were front wheel right. and they were that big, which the Lumina was, it yeah. was like the greatest winter car of all time. Hell yeah. Because it was a giant engine all on the wheels. Yep. Mm -hmm. Heavy. And, and like you said, you can just you can slide right through that yep. stop sign. No problem, buddy. Yeah. That's 92. Right. Like those <laughs> things, like I feel like 79% of the cars on the road were Lumina. Yeah. Everyone had a fucking Lumina. Yeah. Lumina wagon. Regular Lumina. You could raise a family with that car. <laughs> oh, you yeah, could. So many people did. Yeah. <laughs> give, Those your, give your kids the old Ford Tempo <laughs> and move it along. That's right. Uh, a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yep. Driving used to be so much fun. It did. I, I, I drove around for fun. I mean, that's what I did. Yeah, I need to get my hands on like a long, a, long, long time. But like you made real, the classic mistake of making I need to a, get a, a fun hobby. I need hobby to get my hands on like an 89 Grand Marquis, like <laughs> in perfect condition, just drive around in that. Hell yeah. Just like bounce up and down. One like, of those, yeah. the early 90s Impalas. AM, like FM radio, you have to punch the button in. Yep. <laughs> you pull it out, the preset. Line. Oh, yeah. And then turn yeah. the, do, the knob ear, ear, to the spot. <laughs> Push it I remember as a kid, it. get it. My friend's dad got a new. I think it was a like a little Ranger truck, brand new. I was like, we're all like, whoa, can we get a, take a ride in it? He's like, yeah, hop in, and it had a digital stereo in it. Ooh, wow! And I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? This yeah. is like 1986. Got my Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to crank the thing around. You just push a button. What? What? Do you remember Amazing. when people started getting those like aftermarket Pioneer stereos with the oh, yeah. graphics, the LED graphics? And You'd be like, oh my God. You got to take the face off with yes, you so no one steals right. it. That's right. Living yeah. in the future, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hoverboards right around the corner. <laughs> yep. Some of them got so, it was like, it was so much graphics. It was way too much. Oh yeah. Like it was like, like Never they were still stopped. listening to the same print CD. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, I can't figure out how to do anything, but isn't this dinosaur cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're getting distracted running over a family. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. hey. But this Kenwood faceplate. Hey, you know. Kenwood. <laughs> yes. JVC. Yes. Uh, I used uh, to love yeah. hanging out in the car audio section of Walmart. Oh, I love it. Where just be all the speakers on Push the Push the button to listen to the speaker. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's well, nice. Yep. What I what I'm I 15 give, years old. Yeah. I'm a real audiophile. Oh, you were at 15, man. Speaker 16. head. 
The bass, the the super loud bass in cars around here, at least, has seemed to have really fallen off. Yeah. It's yeah, not, I mean, it used Boone, to be so common. It was, it was a big thing. If the bait, the bass is a knocking, don't come a rocking. Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> the panties come a dropping, yeah, something. Yeah. Uh, put it, put it together yourself. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. know, you kind of it's Choose like your a, own adventure. A mad lib. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, my friends would do all sorts of stupid shit. Spray paint our uh, hubcaps. Uh, I got underglow in the inside of uh, my Oldsmobile Aurora. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oldsmobile Aurora. Where you could like do it underneath kind of the dash area. Yeah, yeah. So it would like light up where your feet were. Because that's an important thing to have. Of course. And, and like you said, I never changed the oil for five years. Yeah, but, I, but I got yeah. underglow. So that's all. Hell yeah. <laughs> it all shakes out. Yep. I remember getting a new car stereo in my Suzu Trooper. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking life of luxury, man. <laughs> it was great. Was that with some Earl May cash? Sure was, buddy. Damn. I tell you what. So I live on University, one of them, like right in the middle. So major thoroughfare traffic, day and night, always. Mm -hmm. Every night I lay in bed and just listen to traffic go by. And there are still people that go by with stereos where I'm like, are you, how are you even alive in your car right now? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sitting in my living room. 75 feet away from you and i feel like my heart is defibrillating like yeah. it's like <laughs> so it's like what and, and half the time it's a fucking motorcycle oh uh, yeah motorcycle. Like, what are you time. doing like it is they go crazy so with it. loud and so i used to be like back in the day someone cranks their stereo it's so distorted and crazy it's just like <laughs> going by but this is like a fucking concert is going by you crystal clear and yeah. loud as fuck yep. <laughs> what are you guys doing yeah. People are like, oh, watch out for motorcycles. What? You mean the fucking Lollapalooza show that just went by on two wheels? <laughs> the Mardi Gras flow. Yeah, I had like 75 fucking crew working on it. Good Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I rode in the back seat of a uh, Honda Civic, a two-door Honda Civic from Ames to Iowa Don't City. Don't brag. Yeah. From Ames to Iowa City. So I didn't fit in the back and he had he had the mega super bass. He's like, "You okay with this, man?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, dude, it's fine." And then about halfway there, I was like, Ugh. "I'm like, am I'm I not dying? okay." Yeah, yeah. I've like, been tenderized. It's yeah, exactly what it feels like <laughs> going through a fucking meat grinder. We got there, and I was like, "I might throw up." I don't know what is happening. Got an NFL grade CTE <laughs> yeah. on the way. <laughs> yeah, that's a long ride too. It was. <laughs> fucking crazy. And on the way, I was like, I think I'm going to ride and with I'm someone else. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Your hair's blowing forward. <laughs> <laughs> Those subs are no joke. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember uh, one, this one guy I went to school with. Um, <laughs> he was from a well to do family, all doctors, and he is also a doctor. And his parents bought him like one of those brand new. Mitsubishi Eclipses, probably wow. around like 2017, yeah. like kind of the last model they made, yep. probably, and it was pretty sick because I was I'm still sure. very much into Need for Speed Underground at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. that that's that's what fucked everyone in this country was <laughs> exactly was uh, Fast and the Furious and yep. Need for Speed just wrecked a whole generation oh, yeah, of boys. <laughs> and he got this was the winter time, and he got like two thousand dollars worth of yeah, like super nice like Kenwood subs, all this stuff. And I guess no one gave him the memo that you're not you have to like let them warm up up a bit before you fire him off in the winter yeah yeah so he got in there and he had blueberry yum yum by ludicrous full volume <laughs> yeah, or something yeah, yeah. and just blew out like two thousand oh, dollars <laughs> yeah i love it and i was like yeah <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just driving around town with a super distorted. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I love those cars too. Yeah, uh, with the trunks rattling a little too Right. Hard. Like it's not even a musical sound anymore. It's a percussive like blast. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. I, re I recently realized it wasn't that recently, but a few years ago, just talking about cars. That I, I was like, it's oh, car talk. I know, but I was car like, oh. talk. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine about a car that a girl had. I was like, yeah, you know, she's got like a really fancy, like you know, she's well off because she's got like a nice ass car. Mm. And he's like, dude, she drives a Honda Accord. And I was like, yeah, man, yeah. I can't afford one of those. <laughs> <laughs> a Honda like, Accord. Oh, I'm, I'm poor. The most reasonable right. car of yeah, all time. Yes. <laughs> but it was brand new. And I was like, this car is fucking nice as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it hits different when, like, when I get in uh, Dave's car, not to out him over here, but he has a newer, nicer car. Yeah. You know, when you get in one that's not 
over 15 years old, which is what I'm usually cruising yep. with. You're like, it smells different in here. It does. <laughs> yeah. Every car. Yeah. Every car I get in, I, I had, a, I was with a dude driving like a, like a newer Ford Focus. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, it's like the fucking Batmobile in here. <laughs> I was like, I'm an idiot. So Ford Focus. I know I got a new car. So I have a, my, my car year is a two, 2022. So it's like a new Ooh. car. It's the first time I've really ever owned a new car. And before that, you know, so my car was like from like 2015 or something, 2012 probably. <laughs> and it's like, it's a huge jump in time. Like a decade's worth of innovation has happened. Right. So you get in a car, you're like, I'm in the fucking space shuttle. And there's a quote, I can't remember who it's from, but it says um, that the future is here. It's just not evenly distributed. Right. That like makes we're, a lot the of sense. We're like we're living in the future, just some more than others. Yeah. Right. And that's where it's shit like that, where you get like a brand new, like if you're rich, you have brand new everything. You have the best and like the most futuristic stuff. You already got but the rest of us that's are right. living in, you know, 2004. Your friend Toll over average, here doesn't you know. even have the internet. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Toll's living in 1993. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I got an iPhone. That's right. So I'm good to go. He baby. can do the hot spot if he needs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is Sarah going to make you get the internet? I'm going to get all that stuff. It's all coming. Yep. It's going to be a big summer. <laughs> it is. The, it the is. internet and a baby? <laughs> yeah. Shit's going to get wild. I'm going to love at least one of these. <laughs> <laughs> one of these is going to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a real relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Well, uh, what, do, what do you think you'll do first? Not With between the, the internet? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Is that we, what you were gonna ask? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll start with that one. I have a follow up question. Oh, as well. okay. yeah. What, uh, what, <laughs> much like the what lottery. What would I do first? Yeah. What, what would you do? Man, first? I don't know. If you had the internet, I don't know. Probably watch. I don't know. Season two of Loki or some dumb shit like <laughs> right. that. Well, because between just Alex and I, you'd probably have every streaming service you could ever want. Yeah, we'll give you passwords. On. Oh yeah. What am I? I don't know, man. It's going to be, it's going to, I'm going to be overloaded with Robo content. <laughs> That's going to be an issue, honestly, is how much. No time. I'm like, somebody baby. get this baby away from me. <laughs> yeah. Wolverine, I'll see you when you're four, okay? I got a lot to do. Yes. I got a lot. I got to watch Tiger King, bitch. <laughs> yeah. That was a good, uh, I mean, it was a big thing when it came out. It was so big that it started getting on my nerves. Well, you yeah. never saw it. I didn't. Mm. I had that video, I have that meme I posted of <laughs> Brendan Fraser being uh, woken up in Encino Man. It was <laughs> me getting out of the <laughs> pandemic with no internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, you had the yeah. phone. I was going to say, I mean, if you were totally disconnected, <laughs> it probably would have been a decent pandemic. It still people. was. Yeah. I love the pandemic. <laughs> a plus. Yeah. As far as I pandies got, go. Yeah. I got paid fully for doing a third of the work, if not less than that. Uh, didn't have to hang out with anyone. It was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> miss, the, miss the good old days. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, it kind of broke my brain probably a little. <laughs> kind of. But uh, yeah. It's a touch. Just not having to do like where no one else, no one could do anything. That was just like, oh, you can I mean, just that is be the world that you want to live in is kind of, no I mean, I don't want, nothing. yeah, I don't, I want to do yeah. things, but only things that I want to do, you know, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Like not go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're talking perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're laughing. Yeah. We get Honestly, it. Yeah. He's kind of spitting fire. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I did love that part of the early part of the pandemic was the, like when no sleep was canceled and everything that first like six months of it. Yeah. Because it was one of those things where if I was just to stop doing like, yeah, like the show or this or that, then I feel guilty. Like, Oh, I'm shirking my responsibility Absolutely. as a content creator. And you didn't have to feel guilty. I didn't have to feel guilty all. because everyone's life was over. That's what I liked. Yes. About. And I like it. We were all, yes. It, it's one of those things we all maybe had fantasized about one at one point. What if everything just stood still? Yeah. And then it's like, oh shit, it's happening. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> it, was, it was like a worldwide murder suicide kind of right. situation. <laughs> yeah. And there but now, I mean, my brain is still broken from it. 
because pre-pandemic, I did shit. I did something almost six nights a week. Yeah. It was podcasting, comedy, uh, going out, drinking. Uh, it, I mean, in, <laughs> going to other people's yeah. comedy shows. Just fucking. Yeah. I mean, I was busy as fuck. And it's hard to. I mean, I'm still kind of busy, but I'm like, well, I worked 12 hours today, so I'm going home. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of amazing that you were able to do all of that with all, I mean, before. Yeah, because we all had momentum on our side, and the momentum got sliced off for everyone. So then a lot of shit just dropped away because we're like, eh. I mean, I don't think I missed a Tuesday of comedy. I don't think I... You did like twice in like a decade. Yeah. (laughs) Pretty much. That's about right, I think. Yeah, I mean, honestly. I don't think I ever, ever missed unless something was seriously, if I was super sick, which didn't happen often or... For some reason, I was not around, but it was never the case. He was always around. Oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> I was always around. <laughs> Good for me. <laughs> it is. I mean, you need those people, and it, you know, you were a big part of it. Still are, dare yeah. I say. Well, I'm trying to be better about going to stuff. But it is tough, man. After a long-ass day, I'm old, dude, and I'm, you know. Like I'm tired and not drinking, going out and not drinking still is like, I'm not very sociable. I would like to be more sociable, but I'm just quiet. The hangs definitely changed uh, yeah. once everyone started cleaning up their act. A yeah. Little. Oh man. Yeah. My sober streaks going to open mics is just like, man, what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> why like, wow. are we doing this? Has everyone always been this bad? Yeah, at you guys all really this stupid? <laughs> Good lord. No wonder I get drunk when uh, I go to the open mic. Yeah. I have to. It's a ne- necessity. Yeah. Being drunk makes everyone seem pretty cool. It does. <laughs> it sure does. I've entertained a lot of <laughs> shitty conversations being drunk. Yeah. Absolutely. I prob- I mean, like on Friday, I've been drinking a, a little bit. And on Friday, I went out with some coworkers. I had some drinks and I was like, God damn, <laughs> this is so fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was me last Friday at the library. Be like, oh, I will have that fucking what was it called? Cheese, chunky cheese sandwich. <laughs> oh, it's fucking amazing, dude. By the way. It was basically a Philly with ground beef instead of Oh. It was so good. Mm. Just cheese all up mixed in it in the ground Oof. beef and onions. Was it still on a hoagie? It sure was. Ooh. A soft, warm hoagie full of ground beef and cheese. <laughs> Sounds like my underwear last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something. I know, me too. My brain was scanning <laughs> all over the place. I had one that wasn't very good. Yeah, I was I'm like, glad <laughs> I waited. Yeah. That was the right one. <laughs> Scan complete. Uh, (laughs) Negative. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Did you guys hear the big news? That Mm. McDonald's might be bringing back a $5 meal? I did see that. I did not. But it will be either a McChicken or a McDouble or a four-piece nugget with a small fries and a drink. So basically, they're just selling Happy Meals to adults with no toys. (laughs) (laughs) That's a sad meal. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Shit. It's called the recession meal. Yes. The four piece nug. Sad. It's not enough. Four is never enough. At least make it five. (laughs) You're just toying with me with four. Yes. Yeah. I prefer twenty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Of course. (laughs) Give me twenty nuggets, please. (laughs) They have to give you two boxes. You're like, I am a fucking piece of shit. Let me eat them nuggets. (laughs) You ever gotten a twenty piece for yourself? Hell yes. You kidding me? I I don't know that I have. When I was in, uh, surprisingly, when I was swimming still pre high school, they gave, they sold this card that for the entire summer, you got buy one, get one at McDonald's for the whole summer. And I would be like, for what? For, it was like a, th- it was like a fundraiser for swimming. No, but you would buy one, get one free, like of anything? Of anything. So I went to oh McDonald's. God. All oh, con- yeah. And when I was like in eighth grade, I would have abused the oh, fuck dude, out when of When you that. are an eating machine, <laughs> yes. buddy, I fucking went to McDonald's like every other day and I'd be like, 
20 <laughs> McNuggets, please. Make it 40. <laughs> exact mundo. Slide that card across the table. That's right, buddy. 40? Like, uh... I think you might recognize it. <laughs> yes. This will be my McDonald's black card. <laughs> this ain't got no limits. That's right. <laughs> it's a black card. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will also have two hot fudge sundaes. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. The ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, sir. The ice cream machine is down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Apple pies it is. Yes. Ooh. The old fashioned. I love a McDonald's apple. Fried, I hate fried to hell one. apple pie in real life, but a McDonald's apple pie. <laughs> If you bring it on, baby. <laughs> Do a little ala mode. Yeah. Oof. Yep. One of the few hot fruit things I will eat. Oh. Except me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Gotta get one in a pot. There you go. Uh, Can you please show the people that shirt you got on, Alex? This shirt? That shirt right there. Uh I don't know if you can make that out, folks. That's a toll's face. <laughs> That's toll's face on a Facebook post that also has Alex and Wes liking it. On <laughs> the best shirt of all time. Yeah, I won it fair and square on this podcast. You did years ago. Quizzy quiz prize. The, the caption reads, "I have a job." <laughs> <laughs> I am hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I do, man. I really looked like that just sitting outside. Because somebody <laughs> took a picture of Dan. Yes. I, I was in the background. This is you cropped uh, <laughs> yes. with the same haircut and as was Anton like Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. It wasn't like I was trying to look like that. Uh, that is yep. just what I looked like yeah, at the moment. Ah, uh, natural. Yeah. That's just it. Which is yeah. I do look like I would. I have a r fucking shotgun with a silencer on it. <laughs> But it's for myself. <laughs> He's got a bump stock in his yes. uh, back of his Fiat. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. I love... I'm glad that that's your shirt and not my shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud to own it. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'd be happy if it was my shirt, too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make... Put that on the merch store, maybe. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, this would be a bestseller. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, limited edition, like make 50 of them? Yes. Shit. Limited run. I did have a, a few little fun things I thought we might enjoy. Um, so yeah. in my line of work, running a comedy club, we get very uh, interesting and fascinating oh, boy. booking submissions, I guess. Oh, this is going to be say. fun. Oh. So, um, Physical items in the mail? That's right. Really? Yep. So, Really? Oh, this guy, Mr. Jeff Batts. So he's getting a plug out of this. So if you feel bad that we're trashing him, he is getting a plug. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jeff Batts with two T's. Uh, feel free to pass that around. He seems to be a man of many impressions from... The front of that whoa very various costumes uh but he also sent along and i thought this was actually pretty unique i did just wire drawn i like the uh gay s and m guy that's uh <laughs> the leather daddy something yeah yeah he has a few different characters but you see this his last he's name is bat he sent us lovely black cherry sours bat guano oh nice and I thought they were pretty bad at first, but uh, this empty bag tells me different. <laughs> I sucked them right now. Jeff Batts is just wired wrong. Full contact comedy. <laughs> See, that's a lot of costume changes. I was got a QR code on here. Yeah. So is he host of the living? syndicated TV series Comic Invasion, premiering in fall twenty four. Yeah, all of our shows are premiering in fall 20. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So people are sending this is like, Oh yeah. In this day oh, wow, this day and age. It, it filled up our little mailbox so much that I had to go grab the rest of our mail which wasn't delivered cuz our mailbox was too full at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Betts was to blame for that, but the back one I I would have gave you some but I I did I ate all of it. Yeah. Now it's fair enough. It's yeah. Turning into AJ Guano as yeah. we speak. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Shard in the making. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, it's not expired when I got it, so that's pretty good. Uh, this guy, this was technically not a submission. This man came to the open mic 
and had these uh, full color, by the way, printed out. Hawk the Handyman. He laid these out at every single table. Didn't ask. Just laid them out and then <sighs> proceeded to go on stage uh, and tell. Do and do great. Uh, he did very bad and, <laughs> and was pretty racist. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Perfect. Hawk the Handyman. Shout out to my boy. Love so that. is he an actual handyman? I don't think so. Okay. I think it's kind of more like a Larry the Cable Guy kind of situation. Okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah. That makes it worse, actually. Yep. So these are two of the things. I just like the uh, the State Fair caricature. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah I was going to say. <laughs> that Airbrush. Is a, yeah. Well, if you're going to be racist, you better be a dumb character. Yeah. You better be handy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Is that, I, is that a good likeness of him? Oh, yeah. No, that, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> okay, good. Well, there's that. Yep. I think he even had the overalls on, if I remember correctly. Oh, he had a boy. crew of like three or four fellows with him. Oh, boy. Wow. Kind of hype men, if you will. Ready to hype get handy this man. thing going. But it's fascinating in this world of comedy because people, you can sort of, I think Jeff Batts might legitimately be like a comedian of I some sort. So, I yeah. think so. I think he's been around. Hawk, on the other hand here, um, he seemed to be in yeah. that category of people I see pretty often who are totally insular. They they formed their act in the, in a vacuum, right? Or didn't outside at all. outside yeah, yeah. of outside of any input from the world. Yes, yeah. never done ne- it. In front an of open people. mic has like absolutely yeah. not. Just they've sat at home. They, they know they have to memorize their comedy. That's right, and that's what they've done. Yeah. And yeah. now they are a comedian. Right. And that will be their career. Correct. Yeah. Although they have never made anyone laugh. <laughs> that's right. He yes. just does. His it's a whole very act. complicated thing, but it I is. think we got it. it. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does his whole act into his wife's Hitachi wand <laughs> that night. <laughs> Hitachi wand. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's all that we have for oh. those guys. That's, um, that's pretty good, though. Yeah. So I'll continue to bring uh, interesting stuff. They get their free plugs out of it for us. They um, love them. Yeah. Fair. So send your uh, comedy nonsense to Teehees, I That's guess. right. Uh, we get them all the time, like all these funny little marketing things. Box 1414, Pueblo, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get put together my package. Yeah. Hmm. What's it going to be? A pair of Crocs. Yep. A VHS tape of... Uh, Mm, gremlins of the too. birth of your daughter <laughs> 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 yes. i need the money <laughs> uh, uh oh i almost forgot i uh i didn't have the time to bring it up on the screen but uh i have received quite a few puppet submissions uh this guy i'm actually i might consider his, puppet submissions his, this, this, quite this, a few puppet submissions that is correct I'm how many are we talking here standalone puppets or uh ventriloquism puppets yeah so it'd be a guy on stage that you could see with the puppet okay. Okay. So okay. Co- more like an auto and didn't you have a guy of. that does that's like where the puppet is the comedian that he's like under the yes. p- podium oh he yeah. was actually the a, bird guy uh, yeah chad the bird or something yeah like yeah that. yeah so yeah, yeah, he's still out there. Yeah, I'm, and think a Chicago guy. I think that's right. Yeah, this guy's name is Vince Latte, and he's very political. The bird is. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, I don't know if you can see Vince Latte right here, but uh, I think this one is actually just a full-on puppet that doesn't act. Oh my! Oh, okay, all yeah. right. Vince Latte it looks pretty flossy. Can you can you, can you see it? Nah, no. Nope. Uh, what is this? A picture for ants. <laughs> <laughs> but Vince Latte looks pretty good. He even has a little beauty mall on his cheek. The puppet that does. Legit. <laughs> that that sure would be would... wild to have just a the the puppeteer comedian has never seen just only the puppet is. That would be It'd be even wilder if the dude Strange. doing the puppeteering was a white guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, because Vince, Vince Latte was a uh, a black man. <laughs> the puppet was. <laughs> A black puppet man. Right. Technically speaking. Te- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Technically speaking. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So when I watched War of the Planet of the Apes last night. There, man, I'll tell you. Toll really got worked up. I'm telling you, that movie is, it's yeah. like you don't expect. My family had been joking about the Planet of the Apes earlier in the evening. And, I was, and AJ and I talked about going to see the new one mm-hmm. that night. I was like, well, we're not, it's too late to go see it. So I'm going to watch the third one. And that is a fucking, I mean, like 
It's a great movie. It's great, but it's all it's like fucking Schindler's List with monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. dude. It's hardcore. <laughs> like monkeys getting shot all over the place. Yeah. And well, and it was pretty impressive because Toll was referencing he's like, Wow, this this reminds me of Apocalypse Now. Yes. Blah blah blah. And then in a scene, there's like this little tunnel. And then on one of the walls, spray painted Ape Apocalypse Now, yes. a little reference. I didn't, and yeah, I the didn't. Special, the special features, they mentioned it. Yeah, well. they did. And how overtly uh, Woody Harrelson is kind of doing a Colonel Kurtz thing, being bald and touching his head and stuff. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It's very serious. Like, I can't wait to see the next one. I know. I'm excited. And my favorite part of watching that whole movie was knowing that Sarah laughed <laughs> when she saw the apes on horses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> knowing yes. that Toll takes it big. Well, she didn't know. <laughs> yeah. we were, I forget what movie we were going to. And there was a trailer for the new Planet of the Apes. And Sarah just starts laughing. I go, what are you laughing at? Because it's a monkey on a horse. <laughs> I was like, it's not funny. <laughs> Face uh, popping yeah. out of his head. <laughs> serious. serious. <laughs> no laughing matters. <laughs> when you watch it, you're like, yeah, this ain't. I'm like, God damn, these CGI monkeys are not fucking around. <laughs> this, this orangutan's making me cry. Mm, that's shit. right. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice. Yep. Yeah, it was good. I couldn't believe how good the CG was, especially on Toll's big TV. Yeah. Formerly Alex's big TV. Yeah, because I have Toll's former TV. Well, that's so right. That's round and round and go. Of yeah, TV we, incest over here. Right, we just <laughs> pass them around. You guys believe that celebrities out there getting punched in the face on the street? Yeah. You, you mentioned in your joke. Yeah. I almost forgot to... Talk about it yet again. Steve Buscemi, of all people, seems like like he seems all right. Why are you punching him? Punch someone people that gets randomly it. punched in yeah, New York is a yeah. common occurrence, apparently. That is true. It's happening more and more. But what's the end game for it? Just the hilarity of knocking some old person yeah, out on the street? Punching somebody. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Because that, what, uh, Michael Stuhlbarg, the actor, I played. Played the weird guy in Men in Black 3. Remember that guy? With like the the glowing thing in the back of his head. <sighs> That's a deep cut for me. I'm trying to think I of what he was. I can't think you, of would, you, you would recognize him if <laughs> you saw I him. I know I would. I know I would. Uh, anyway, somebody threw a rock at his head. And he actually chased the person down. And they got arrested. Huh. I was like, how hard did they hit you with this rock? How how hard would I have to be hit with the rock to chase the person that threw the rock down? Is what. Uh, although I was ready to beat some people up for honking at me, so <laughs> it's probably, probably not a very big rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably not a very <laughs> <Yeah>. big rock. <laughs> what? Well, even a small rock would hurt pretty bad. Yeah. Even a dirt clod. Yeah, there's not really a light. Like there's not really a light getting hit with the rock, no matter what the speed. I suppose. Although we used to have rock fights in grade school. Smart. We had our playground was filled with pebbles. Pea gravel. Yeah. What was your playground filled with? <laughs> we were more of wood chip kind of people. Were you wood chips? Uh, I think we were kind of wood chips, if I remember right. I'll tell you the best stuff was the uh, chopped up tires. Oh, yes. Yeah. The mm. soft. That was the good stuff. <laughs> nice rubbery landing. Mm hmm. Yeah, delicious Whoa. to chew on. Yeah, good for the brain. Mm -hmm. Made me the man I am today. <laughs> Chewing on tires. <laughs> well, see you later. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look into having the back of my head uh, surgically shaved down. What do you think, guys? I have this little bump back here. Is Everything. that something that people really do? Uh, I don't think so. Those crazy ones. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a picture of the back of my head the other day, and I was like, I feel like I'm never supposed to see this. You're yeah. not. Just yeah. forget about it. And nobody, yeah, everybody's got that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, some people look like they're rocking a pack of hot dogs back there. Yeah. 
You know, let's have a look again. Yeah, let's take a, let's take a look, shall we? <laughs> Can you see oh, it? Yeah. yeah, it's the base of your skull. Yeah, bud. A that, bumpy. That, we you should really get one. that hideous way thing it works. taken care of. Get it shaved down, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was saying. <laughs> Shave it down. Tattoo it like sander. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look bad at all. It looks yeah. like a normal head. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You got a nice looking head, AJ. Thanks, buddy. Mm-hmm. Smooth. You don't. You don't have a lot of uh, like. If I went bald, people would be like, "Jesus, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with that guy's head?" <laughs> all kinds of weird shit on there. Yeah, my head's all dented up. I gotta yeah. like make this hair last as long as I possibly can. <laughs> you think? The oh, I know. Dense? Are you on the hymns train yet? No, that I'm. No, this whatever's happening is just gonna happen, and that's gonna be the way it is. Yeah. I just hope it lasts. I'm just trying to enjoy. It. We can't all have a fantastic head of hair like Dave Bowman. You know. That's true. Hey. Guy has as much hair as a fucking five year old. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got a big lumpy head. When I was in college, I came home from class one day and one of my friends was shaving his head. And I'm like, oh my God, he had like a ton of hair. He's like, yeah, I'm just like shaving. I'm like, all right, yeah, me too. So I shaved my head. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, well, I would love to see. Boy, this. did I uh, do I regret this? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, well, wow. I got Ooh. six months of looking like a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always wondered why when dudes with hair sh- shaved their heads completely, I'd be like, "This is a, what a choice you have made." Yeah, mm. nothing I drives would. me crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how dare you? I know. <laughs> it's like trans women, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hair privilege. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <coughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I said it. No. You haven't said too many regretful things on the video podcast. No, I no. try to be more. It yeah. certainly adds a <laughs> new layer of thoughtfulness. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Sometimes the grizzly bear gets out. That though. didn't <laughs> exist before. <laughs> Look at my uh, sweet gams on the. Yeah, I was just, I just looked over my legs. <laughs> Sweet gams. I said like a lady too. Yeah. (laughs) Speaking of trans women, (laughs) squishing my balls between my thighs. I don't know if I can get mine over. Ooh, Uh, that thigh ain't Mm. looking bad though, huh? Look at that thigh meat. Look at that creamy. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. White and hairy. <laughs> yep. I look like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> uh, you put a put a vent underneath your chair. Or yeah. yeah, we all need to air out my gooch. some uh, <laughs> hoochie daddy shorts. Yeah, hoochie daddy season is upon yeah, us here yeah. shortly. Let's get them short shorts out. Give everybody know. the full Hank Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Do people actually like? Uh, I mean, you know, do do people enjoy the hoochie daddy, or is that one of those ironic things? I think that people like it. I mean, I mean, I guess the uh, the if Tom you got Selleck nice thing. legs, why yeah. not? I don't. Know. I mean, it was working for everyone in the eighties, apparently. Yeah, yeah, that was just standard operating procedure and back I've, then. I've seen <laughs> the, the ball bag hang out, yeah. you catch a couple of rays, you know. <laughs> right. Don't worry about it. It's the eighties <laughs> of the uh, the bring back these shorts. The ladies post them of Tom Selleck. Yeah, I just never party. know if they mean that or not because I don't want to show up to a party and like everyone get offended. Look, we've all seen <laughs> yeah, AJ. We've all seen George's legs, and we're all like, "Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. Look at nice. them stems, baby!" He does yeah. have very nice legs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of walking. Short and shorts and Crocs. Yeah. I think that's the look this summer, actually. Oh, yeah. Running shorts. The look where they go, does that guy, is that guy homeless? <laughs> <laughs> is he really hot? Did he just get done exercising? <laughs> we'll never know. Uh, we'll never know. Nope. Uh, what what's that, that little noise I keep hearing? What is it? Somebody turned on their Hitachi. The fridge? <laughs> uh, <it's> the fridge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dave puts his vibrator in the freezer before he uses it. <laughs> Ice cold, yeah, baby. Yeah. That's my thing. It's like when you whip cream, you know, you got to yeah. freeze the <laughs> utensils and bowl ahead of time. That's that would be quite a sensation, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Like the ice cubes, you know? Yeah. I, I uh, uh, Our friend Hannah Ty had talked about that, I think, on stage one time. Where she was like the first guy that ever went down. I don't know if I should tell it, whatever. <laughs> she told it on stage. <laughs> the yeah. first guy that ever went down on me used ice cubes. And it was the most, it's never been the same since. Now I'm like, you probably right, girl. 
Probably. I mean, just get somebody else to use some ice cubes. Yeah, I mean, ice cubes are pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not hard to they're come plentiful. by. plentiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I uh, guess the sensation would probably be pretty sweet. It would. I suppose you'd get... But it might be numbing, though, hmm. also. I would We're all confused. Huh. Hmm. hmm. I will say, I, like, if I had to choose between a warm or sort of a cool to cold hand touching, you know, my, me... <laughs> As it were, wink, yeah. wink. <laughs> yeah, uh, if I, if, theater of the mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cooler one though. I feel like it's it's almost like the stranger or something. You know, it feels right. Where if it's too close to your body temp, it's almost like sitting on you, a warm toilet seat. Yeah, you don't feel it the same. It, but that doesn't have a warm. You don't have the contrast. Yeah, because a warm know? toilet seat actually mm -hmm. isn't that bad, except for you're like somebody else's butt warmed this thing up. Yeah, gross. Yeah. Yeah, do you uh Yeah, what's what what's your etiquette on that? Do you put the little lobster bib down if they have it for the toilet seat or do you uh I, I try as hard as possible not to shit in public. Oh, that's right. But uh, no, I do not do that. Oh. Huh. So you'll just sit like raw dog. Do you put seat. like a layer of toilet paper down? Uh I usually do, yeah. Do you? Depends on where I'm at. Yeah, for that's what? some weird. That's great. That's like some OCD stuff. If if this if the think, toilet which, is so bad that I have to put something <laughs> on top of it, then I'll just I'm like I'm not doing this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was at, I saw a porto potty at Sailorville Lake one time. Oh boy. Oh buddy, <laughs> right next to the dock. I was like I gotta pee, <laughs> and I opened this thing up and I was like, oh <laughs> my god, because it was like shit piled with dead fish and more shit. Where it was just like, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the most horrible thing. I I was like, wow, this. I feel bad for whoever has to do something with this thing. But Dave and I were talking about this mere hours ago. Honestly, those are the people that make great money taking those. Sh I mean, Mike, oh yeah, Mike Rowe kind of made a whole show about it. Right, I guess, dirty but, jobs. But being yeah. the porta potty guy. I mean, that money talks. I saw that a guy. Spends. Yeah, that money yeah. spends. It. I saw a guy emptying stinky grease traps, and I wanted to be like, what talking, "That's what led to how the much do you, talk. How much do you make doing this? Because it doesn't seem bad at all, except for the smell of the stinky grease. Yeah, but I smell that every day anyway. Yeah, if I'm in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't. We got like, empty you know. tolls, grease traps as well. <laughs> 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 like a dog. Uh, you have to do it every once in a while. <laughs> Express <laughs> tolls. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. anal plans. laughs> <laughs> Just reach in there. Come on. Give it a pinch. Give it <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> My buddy used to do that himself. I was like, how much does it cost to have that done that you were willing to fucking squeeze your dog's oh, anal glands? no way. Mm. He's like, oh, no, like 75 bucks. I was like, fuck, dude. I would, I would start <laughs> I'll pay you 75 trash. bucks not to yeah, do it. I would yeah, be, I would be collecting pop cans off the street before I fucking did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. There is no, you couldn't. I'd be like, well, I guess I have to kill this dog. Is this dog <laughs> going to yeah. explode into a ball of shit or something? <laughs> yes, but yeah. I'm not yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I would do that. <laughs> what are the glands for? I, scent glands. Dogs yeah. have scent glands on certain their paws and their ass and yeah. shit. Is that why they and smell they each other's up. asses? It is. Yeah. But I guess some of these dogs have been bred so crazy that they get it gets yeah. And then some, this uh, oily backed up. Oh, I've seen it. Like a, yeah. look up, look it up on YouTube. It's wild. <laughs> I did once. And I'm like, okay, yeah. message received. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna forget yeah. I ever saw this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that Wait till you see him do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Take toll of the vet. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! <laughs> yeah, horrible. <laughs> We'd like to have our friend put down. <laughs> yeah, <yes>. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, time. Yeah. He's been around long enough. Yeah. Give him some treats. Yeah, yeah. he's limping around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Constantly complains. Yeah. He <laughs> pees all over himself. <laughs> <laughs> shits himself. <laughs> yeah, he's had enough. Yeah. He's had a good run. <laughs> We'd like to get a little paw print for yeah. if, yeah. if we can. It is weird that that's. Where you guys put my hand in plaster? <laughs> <laughs> no more pain. Yeah. <laughs> Eat this spoonful of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Sorry. No pills. Yeah. 
Have another Bud Light Platinum <laughs> Seltzer and don't worry about it. Yeah. Eat this right. s'more. Eat this uh, <laughs> s'mores crunch. I'm wearing this sweet hat that Sam Hershot got me. Can you read that? Washed up local, baby. Classic. Mm. Most accurate hat ever made. <laughs> with with the bear hoodie still. Yeah, I think people probably watch, if they've watched more than one of these podcasts, they're like, I don't think Toll ever changes clothes. <laughs> but I do swear, this is like a jacket. It's like a light jacket. That's how I treat it. Yeah, it's springtime. Yeah. It's good time of year. And I have it. 25 pairs of gray shorts, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> one pair of Crocs, though. Yep. But hey, you don't smell them, do you? I do not. Well, I think the blood stain's gone too. <laughs> Look at that! I licked it right off. Batter <laughs> <laughs> is cats. The two. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Nice. I was walking around in some rain. Yeah, it gets the blood right out. Yeah. Oh, I went to uh, the Johnston Kite Festival with Sarah what? Neverly. That's yeah, fine, I was bro. saying, <laughs> make sure you Say hit the T again. on that. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool, man. This is Johnston we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. It was. Yeah, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even. The things that fly in the air. <laughs> yes. Festival. There was huge, humongous kites. It was very cool. There was a whale. There was a shark. I mean, some of these kites were like probably 40 feet long. And the whale, the big one, like the whale, they have a separate kite like a separate huge Big kite whale tail above the kite <laughs> so that the whale itself can be pulled in two directions and kind of inflate. And so it's not just a like a cock. It is <laughs> giant whale cock. And all the kids were like, what's that <laughs> mom? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to make kites. That wasn't as fun as you'd think it'd be, but the <laughs> kites itself were cool. Very cool. Was this something you went with? Uh, I went with, yeah. Sarah Neverly. Adorable. It was fun. It wasn't very nice out, but uh, if we did. I mean, it's, it's fascinating to see kites that big just flying around. They just stake them in the ground. Oh, yeah, some so of those big, like, professional kites, like yeah. the big dragons and yeah, stuff like was, that. Yeah, it was that a Johnston it's dragon. A whole, it was sweet, dude. The whole thing. Wow. Well, a guy we know, a comic that's performed at T's, David Lewis, he flies giant kites. He's got a giant kite. He's a hobbyist. Hmm. Interesting. And I would like to buy a I love flying kites. Occasion, and I would like to buy a huge Let's one. Let's go fly a kite, kite up to the highest height. Up, in, up the in the atmosphere, atmosphere. up uh, where the air is clear. You're welcome, Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, would you guys be interested in a giant kite? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> How what would giant, it be? What's the biggest kite we can get our hands on? This Grizzly bear question. kite. There is a reasonably priced. There's some reasonably priced ones. How, what kind but of kite? Get, what kind of kite could you get for one thousand dollars? I wonder. Huge. Like huge. Like that's what I'm saying. Like like what? That's got to be like a wild kite, yeah. right? Enormous. Hmm. Probably one of those whales. Uh, they might be more than that. Mm. Uh, it's hard to say. Yeah. Like what are they made out of? Like I think like nylon. Nylon, nylon right? Mm -hmm. Kevlar, yeah. <laughs> That'd be this kite sucks. <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was cool. I don't know. Gigantic kites. Yeah. Uh, was there a lot of people there? Checking it was. It, out? it wasn't very nice outside. That's probably where the cracks got cleaned because of the wet ground. But uh, yeah. I've noticed I was walking around today. I'm uh, just trying to get a few steps in, you mm -hmm. know. I um I noticed that when it rains a lot, it sort of reconstitutes all the dog shit that has been shit. Oh, like the stuff that was dry? Yeah. Is wet again? Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. like astronaut food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like sort of like comes yeah. back to life. <laughs> what really does it, it <laughs> smells it's like, like everywhere. It's like the first day of spring when humidity comes back into the yeah. air. Yeah. So everything and around starts absorbing a little water. And it does yep. reconstitute yeah. all the dog shit and piss. You yep. go out, you're like, God yeah. damn. Everything dead. Yeah. Yep. There's like a it's rotten. It's kind of a nice, it's like that dirty spring smell. I like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Sort of like a sweet rotten ah, smell. Yeah. Like we I were, like it. Yeah. There's certain bad smells that are good, you know? Yeah. We start, I, start, I tried to start this conversation last time, and you guys were like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll try. <laughs> what, what, what did you say? Did you have any smells? 
Oh, uh, we didn't. Uh, we moved on quick. I don't know. <laughs> I like some bad smells. I like the smell of dirt. I like the smell that's of not dirt. A, that's a natural smell. I like the you smell like of like smell. Uh, driving down the interstate. Like I don't mind the smell of like a fucking pig farm if I'm not too close to it. Uh, it smells like Iowa. Just like me. lightly yeah. perfumed. Yeah. Not where like, it's overwhelming like, oh my God, yeah. I'm eating pig shit. Yeah. Which yes. Happens. Yeah. <laughs> if you live on the east side of Des Moines, it happens all the time. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hit it. I mean, smell a pork chop. You're like, oh, it smells like a barn. Weird. Dookie scraps. Yeah. Indeed. Mm. Yeah, the east side always smells like hot dog food. That's what they're making. <laughs> That's what they're making. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hot and it. fresh yeah. out the kitchen. Yep. Mm. All those scraps are getting tossed into to dog food and hot dogs and who knows what else. <laughs> yeah. We used to make my used to feed my dog a do, a brand of dog food that was made in Des Moines called Sparkle. Sparkle. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> exist anymore, I don't think. They ran out of horses, I'm guessing. They ran out of, they ran, <laughs> yeah. they ran out of raccoons and Chinese <laughs> newspaper. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yep. God damn. Sparkle. Sparkle dog food. Big brown bag. What was the family dog before cricket? Dooley. What was Dooley? She was uh half lab, half Samoyed. A oh, big dog. Big, yeah, like a uh, ninety pounds. Then when she got, like, she was pretty fat at 90 pounds, but she was a good girl. Did all kinds of crazy shit. Was she the one that got fed Crystal? Sparkle. <laughs> or Sparkle, yeah. <laughs> crystal. Welcome to Iowa, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your Crystal. <laughs> yeah. Yep. She was the one that got fed Sparkle. Ooh. Maybe that's where the 90 pounds came into play. Oh, well, Monks, I mean, I thought it was the funniest thing ever to feed her anything i could i used to put <laughs> like me and my friend we would oh get boy. hot dogs and stick them out of our zippers you know <laughs> and she'd be, ah, rah, rah, rah. hilarious and she'd eat it up and we'd be like ah <laughs> so funny then you got a couple of wires crossed yeah. and now you're a little weird <laughs> <laughs> yeah. between that and the leopard and sometimes you'd be uh it would be just impressive like you could throw her like a cheeseburger and she would go plow, plow, and eat it in like two bites and then go blah 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 blah, blah. And spit out lettuce and onions like nobody's business. <laughs> wow! It was really impressive. It was like she was. It was like seeing somebody tying a knot with a cherry. <laughs> yeah, stem. I was gonna say unwrap a star. Because it would be like there is no fucking way you just did that. And she go hop hop, and they go Bleh. lettuce. Hold the onions. lettuce and onions. Yep. None of that veggie shit going in here. No thanks. Yep. Pretty cool. That is fucking cool. There's a lot. I mean, I, I could go on about this dog. She did all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's hear but, it. We got a few minutes to fill. Um, <laughs> one time, my sister there's, was trying on clothes at Backcountry Outfitters in Beaverdale, which is oh, it's still there, know, inex still there inexplicably. Having it, it's, it's so expensive, but it's a great place. I don't it is a great place. No, but the fact that any place like that still exists right. is a wonder. A fan, like a owned local a family owned yeah, clothing cool. store. A local clothing yeah. store where you walk in and look at the clothes and buy them there. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes there's that cash. suit store yes. there too as well. There is. I can't remember what it's called. It's the back room because it's like yeah. the the uh, Mr. B's like lesser, like slightly messed up stuff. You know? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I bought some stuff there. It's, no it's still SK, expensive. Yeah. It's not like it's cheap. This it's one's got a nice. sleeve on the ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I needed that. Yeah. Now I can let the shart out. Yeah. <laughs> you can hook a fire hose to the asshole. Part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, my sister was trying on clothes there and uh, did not have the dog with her. And she was trying on clothes and people inside of the store were like, what the hell? Uh, why is there a dog in here? <laughs> and then the dog just busts into her dressing room. Is like, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she was like, "Oh my god, my my dog is in the store, and I didn't even bring her." Uh, she ran from down the road. Yeah. One wow. time we were feeding uh, geese and ducks at the cemetery. Uh oh. Tossing them popcorn, and that's got to be like, I don't know, a mile and a half to two miles from our house. And we're sitting there, uh, tossing popcorn <laughs> to the ducks. <laughs> And we see these two dogs coming up. <laughs> and we go, man, that one really looks like Dooley. We go, Holy shit. It is Dooley. Oh, my God. Uh, one time she jumped out of a moving car on a highway and then ran through some barbed wire fencing and started chasing horses. <laughs> and we finally got her back in the car. She's a bloody mess. Oh, my God. But she, had, she was just like... <laughs> 
<laughs> best day of my Had life. Had the best time of her life. <laughs> yeah. Dooley sounds yeah. like a goer. Yeah, she did all kinds. She was a lot. I mean, it was like a very Marley. And oh, hepped up on situation. sparkle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> on crystal. <laughs> yeah. Crystal. Uh, yeah. All kinds of shit. Damn. She Where did the name come from? Uh, it was her name. Her, her full name was Eliza Doolittle. Oh. And we called her Dooley. And that was in part because uh, her, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, obedience class. So she was the worst dog in the class, like by far. <laughs> so never did anything right That's ever. A lot of sense. We've never and, seen quite a dog this bad. For, and my whole family <laughs> goes to her. I don't know if my whole family went, but we went to her doggy school graduation. She does literally everything exactly right. Oh. And everybody was like, what the f hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's almost very a McGrain like yeah, story, yeah. at least yeah. we're told. Yeah. You know, never does the homework. That's right. The test. Yeah, yeah. And the dog won $1,000 yeah. and retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got $30,000 yeah. in the <laughs> life insurance policy. Yeah. <laughs> like my mom used to read me stories. And my dog would pull out a sleeping bag, wad it up and suck on it while my mom was reading stories. <laughs> she would pull down whole loaves of bread and put her mouth over them and not eat them. But if you tried to take the loaf of bread, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she was just like, liked protecting this loaf of bread in her mouth. Yeah. I love cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. There was all kinds of fun stuff that that dog did. Yeah. It sounds like a fun pup. She was. How many years you get out of her? Uh, let's see. I think we were three. I was three. And I remember throughout my childhood being like, just, just don't let her die before I'm like 15. Because I don't think I could handle it. Like it makes a difference. Right. right. You know? And I think I was 16 when she, we finally had to take her, take her out. Mm. She couldn't move at all. Couldn't stand up anymore. Time to go to the big bread loaf in the sky. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that was the big suit store in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Big backcountry outfitters yeah. in That's the sky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is like a Marley and me, Beethoven oh, kind of man. story. Yeah. I mean, one time, not to keep going, but my I mom like my mom was coming home from work on Beaver Avenue back when it was four lanes and not three with mm -hmm. the turning lane. And our dog runs out. My mom had her window down. Our dog runs across busy ass Beaver Avenue at God. five o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> stopping traffic, and then jumps through my mom's open car window. It's <laughs> hilarious. Very exciting. Yeah, yes. Yep. Like a cool ass dog. Yeah, she was awesome. And then what was the dog before? No, I'm just kidding. There was <laughs> there was nothing before Dooley. Not in, no. Not in your lifetime, nope. I guess. Damn. I was watching the uh, the Westminster dog shows happening now, Ooh. and they had the uh, my favorite. So my favorite sporting events are Super Bowl, uh, Final Four, and then Westminster Dog Agility Championships. It's that is pretty awesome. So great! I watched it last <laughs> night for two hours. Wow, so good. <laughs> I watched that Border Collie video. Was it a Border yeah, Collie? It's a Border Collie mix from a couple years one. ago. Yeah, well, one one. One of them won last night, yeah, and it like broke the record. It was that like was crazy. It was hysterical. I hope I get to see that. I'm sure I will. <laughs> dog's name was Nimble. Look up Nimble. Right, it was, Nimble the dog. It was hilarious. One well, is that where they run up the little ramps. And yeah, gotta go through the tube. Jump. Go on the teeter totter thing. Yep. Wee. Yeah. Duck diving, dipping and dodging. <laughs> dodge. <laughs> if you can Duck. dodge a wrench, you can dive. dodge a ball. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, I just saw apparently that first throw that Rip Torn threw at Justin Long in that movie mm -hmm. with the rubber wrench. He still hit him in the face so hard that it made him bleed. Which is <laughs> <laughs> fun. Fun fact. Yeah. Fun dodgeball fact. Is Rip Torn still with us? He is dead. Is he? Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Yep. R.I.P. Rip Torn. Torn out. Real name? Like birth name? I don't. I don't no, I'm sure it was like Rapunthian. Yes. Ezekiel Rabonowitz. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what I mean. That's, uh, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it always is. Yeah. So, some very ethnic name. Yeah. You go to Hollywood and I'm like, now I'm Johnny Flash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Moisha Robonowitz anymore. Yeah. Of course, you're going to have to yeah. change it. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Okay. Hell yes. yes. Of course. Manuel Raul Torn. Torn. Cool. So Torn was there. Still his last name. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know if it was fully just uh this sounds awesome. Rip. If I could pick. Rip Who were we rip. talking about last time? Oh, Wolverine T doll. I still can't get over that shit. <laughs> Who? I love those dolls stories. Yeah. We should come on every other week just to talk, <laughs> talk to us about dolls. Doll yeah. stories. <laughs> yeah. This was a big hit. Yeah. <clears throat> and I just, yeah, I could not believe that was the WT. Thaddeus. Gilbert. In what? T H I L. Gilbert Ball. Oh, Wes said Thaddeus. Oh, let's try Wes. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the Dolls Historian. <laughs> Or is he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Philbert. Huh. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'll name my daughter. That's not bad. Yeah, Philbert. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what a great life she's got. <laughs> Little Philly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Philly. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, we got a, yeah. Man, if, you, man. if you have a lisp. <laughs> yeah. Philbert. Philbert. Nice. Um, when we were watching War of the Planet of the Apes last night, mm -hmm. I had let it slip that the only zoo I've ever been to is Blank Park Zoo. So we, Crazy. Might, we might go to Omaha Zoo because I've only ever seen the tiny little like capuchin or Reese's yeah. monkeys. We were, yeah. we were talking about gorillas, like seeing them in real life. And AJ's like, I've never seen a gorilla. It's highly disturbing. Life. Yeah, it is. That. It is highly it is. disturbing. And then I said, have you ever seen that video of Shaq talking about seeing gorillas? Huh? <laughs> and they all go fucking crazy when they see Shaq. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's enormous, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's a giant black guy. I don't know. They're like all go nuts. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I had one, one time I had nachos <laughs> and this gorilla, like I'd walk. And every, like, the gorilla was just, like, like <laughs> fucking dead-eyeing me with those nachos. I was like, this is creepy as hell, bro. He's like, run me those nachos. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can rip you in half. But I don't think AJ <laughs> also put dip a little bit of that chip in that cheese <laughs> yeah. and throw it over yeah. the top. Yeah. And throw it top. <laughs> I, can, yeah. I can eat your face off <laughs> so fast. <Yes. laughs> Have some delicious face nachos. <laughs> uh, but AJ didn't know that Henry Dorley Zoo was as fancy a zoo as it was. Oh, it's big time. It's like yeah, it worldwide, realize. baby. Mm -hmm. It just seems strange that um, we looked into it, but that Omaha would have, you know, one of the best zoos in the world. Yeah. Is, you know, I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah. You figure it'd be New York or... Yeah. Los Angeles. Omaha and San Diego, probably somewhere in China or something is what we said. And I did a little research into Henry Dorley. Didn't give a shit about zoos, as a matter of fact. No. <laughs> they just kind of named it after him because he'd done a bunch of other nice, good things, I yep. guess. Fair a, enough. He was a well-to-do, uh, well-liked guy at the time. From Omaha? From I Omaha, assume. yeah. He Omaha. was like a journalist or something, wasn't he? Or, uh, or a, like a writer? He, he inherited kind? a big paper, like the Omaha Herald or something, and ah. in some big publication, something like that. I Sounds don't made up. We're the experts. Yeah. <laughs> I did minutes of research last <laughs> in the midst of watching <laughs> War of the Planet of the Apes last night. <laughs> uh. mm -mm -mm. Well... We've done our court mandated time. <laughs> nice. Nice smooth landing. <laughs> smooth song. Yes. Oh. Did I just have a stroke? You betcha. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm a little hot under the collar. Uh, See, that's the, the problem with the hoodie. Where, the hoodie making me le look less fat is that I feel fat on the inside because I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. It's going to be a long summer. Sure is. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, well, it's kind of a little chilly outside. That's why it wore. is. And I didn't wear an undershirt, so oh. I guess it isn't exactly a light jacket, like I said before. <laughs> you lied. It's more of a. It's more of what they like to call a sweatshirt, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Which I'm currently sweating in. Checks out. That is a strange <laughs> name. 
A sweatshirt. Yes, sweatpants. Gross. Why would yeah. anyone want those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my BO shirt. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, oh, nice. <laughs> Delicious. Even better, my BO pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sweat in these fuckers nonstop. Yes. All right. Well. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sweat pants? pants. Yeah, How about non sweat pants. Do you think that now that's a million dollar idea? Is no sweat pants. Yeah, we work on that. <laughs> Hell yeah, take that to the laboratory. Icy, icy <laughs> pants. Yeah, what do you do? You pull them out of the freezer, pop them on. <laughs> you sit down too fast and they shatter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, just dry ice. Yeah. <laughs> or smoking when you take them out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Nice my summer. pants yeah. are cold <laughs> as hell. Uh, All right, Icy Pants. I think that's a perfect place to land the plane. Um, what a podcast. What? Oh, I was. Gonna, are we going to do sign offs? Oh, yeah. You were I, talking I was going to say oh, okay. Venmo at Tobo Cop. Don't you forget it. We got a kid on the way. All right, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash no sleep DSM. I updated some of the stuff. I'll do more updates as, as time allows. <laughs> as time warrants. <laughs> yes. Uh, Black Hat Ice Cream. Let's keep that line out the door all summer, baby. Please. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alex I'll is like, yes, it. do Everyone it. Everyone loves it. And Dave is like, yes, fucking do it. <laughs> We got walk-ins to pay for. That's right. And um, shout out to our producer extraordinaire, Shyla. Yes. She makes dollars an hour, you know? It's more than this. I make. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Labor of love. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, and as always, yes, uh, I've been AJ Simmons, I suppose. Oh, I've been told McGrain. Told, please shut the fuck up, McGrain. <laughs> And the ice cream king of Des Moines, Iowa, Alex Carter. Goodbye. Fucking AJ, Toll and Alex, they're fucking hilarious. This is a certified hood classic. Ba da ba